Hi guys, we rushed um, through today's class and I just want to go over what we spoke about today. So we spoke about finding the equation of a line and I gave you two points. I gave you the points 1 and 5 and minus 3 and minus 1 and I said I'd like to find the equation of that line. Um, if you look at your formulas straight away, you'll see that the equation of a straight line, the formula is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And so what that really is saying is that you have a y minus y1 equals m. Now we've met m before, and m is another word for slope. So when you see m in this, I need everyone to remember that you're looking for the slope. And then to finish off, it's bracket x minus x1. So we're going to start off, um, before we go into this formula here, we need to find out the slope. So we're going to do that first. So step one, find your slope. And obviously with our slope, we have the same um, labels that we are the same steps that we go through and it's number one label your points so it's x1 y1 x2 y2 and i'm going to find the slope of that line by going y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 that's my formula so it is instead of writing y2 i write minus one and um, minus y1 which is five all over Instead of writing x2, I write minus 3. And then it's minus x1, which is minus 1. Break that down a little bit further, and I get um, minus 6 all over minus 4. And you know yourselves that if you're multiplying or dividing, and you have a minus and a minus, that that will give you a plus. So I can write that as 6 over 4. And I can make this a little bit easier on myself by saying, well, I can write that as one and a half. Okay, you can still write it as six over four and bring it on and there's no, there's no problem with that. So I'm now going to go back to my formula and I'm going to fill it in as I normally would. So I have y minus y1, so minus my y1 in this instance is five, equals m and my m is my slope which I figured out here is one and a half which is one and a half bracket x minus x1 which in this instance is one. Now what I want to do at this point is I want to tidy this up and I would always like to write my equations in the form of y equals mx plus c. That's kind of the general way we'd like to write it. And obviously where m is our slope and c is where it hit the points where it hits on the y-axis. So we've covered this in class, but just to... I'm just going to write... Oh, it wants me to write taxis, but no. So y-axis, so we know about that. So generally, I have given the answer here, but it's more often than not practice to give it in this form here, which means... I need to get rid of my brackets, first of all, and then I need to just have y on this side, everything else on the other. So, we will work our brackets out first, and I'm going to write y minus 5 equals 1 and a half times x gives me 1 and a half x, and 1 and a half times 1 gives me minus 1 and a half. Sorry, so that was 1 and a half times minus one, which gives me minus one and a half. And again, we want it to be in the form y equals mx plus c, which means we want to really get rid of this minus five, so I can do it by balancing. Uh, so if I put a plus five here and a plus five here, they will go, and what I'll find is that my final equation is y is equal to one half x, sorry, one and one half x, and then minus 1 plus 5 is going to be plus 3.5. So that is the equation of the line there. And from looking at it, I can see straight away, well, the slope is 1.5, which is actually what I found. So to make sure that that still stayed the same. And that 
it hits the y-axis at 3.5. So um, if I was to draw this, which is something we spoke about um, earlier today, um, I have the information to do both of those things.